Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Uh, in the last episode, as Bob the Big Bat pointed out, I made a bit of a mistake with the um, station docking ports. I was definitely using the wrong ones. The station docking ports are for building or extending your space station. Anyway, today I would like to, we'll fix that and we'll have a check at that. But also I'd like to go and see if I can get a rocket to go into the moon and back again. Now I tried this and I made an episode yesterday and dumped it because it didn't work at all. And since then I've upgraded advanced rocketry. Hopefully it might work. So let's see if we can do that. Now, one of the things you might need is, um, I think, a chunk loader. So let's go and put a chunk loader down somewhere around about here. Because I think rockets need chunk loading anyway. Oh yes, you'll have a, let's just have a look at a second. second. So let's just put down a chunk loader. I made two, one for here and one for the moon. Like that. Well, let's just show the lasers, see if we're covering everywhere we want to cover. I guess that we are. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, now, what a, you'll notice a lot of strange ores in this one. Well, that's because of one of the perks I've got. So if we have a look at perks, um, it's in the Astral Tomb. If I open the Astral Tomb and have a look, wrong one, have a look at the perks. We've now completed all of them. So basically, mineral enrichment. The stone there near you to my, might turn into more valuable stone. So I've got actually lots of levels and I don't know what to do with the rest of the levels. And the plants will grow around us. Increase fertility, animals will breed, breed. increases your, uh, extend, extend your range a bit. That's quite useful actually, it does seem to work. And animated sparks, so sparks do actually fly off. I've seen one or two when I was doing a bit of fighting. So as you can see, ores have turned into more valuable ores because we definitely haven't put down any end diamond. And there was one just turned then, I think it was this one, wasn't it, Ledo? And there's a couple down there as well, look at that, astral tin ore. Absolute and all. So let's put the. I'm going to need to put this stuff back again. The dirt, anyway. I should be able to just. I should be able to do that like this. Hopefully. Hopefully, you've got enough dirt. But since I, since I knocked the dirt out when I was doing this, I thought, well, I must have enough dirt, must not I? Good. So that dirt is now back again. <laughs> and you'll notice here I've built a little a docking pad. I'll put down a docking pad. And here I've got a launch pad. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build a rocket and send this rocket to the moon. But it doesn't have anywhere to go to on the moon. So what we're going to do first is to do that. So let's just build a rocket. I'm going to change the design a bit for this one because I want to put a chest on it. Um, it needs a the standard stuff, so we need a couple of engines. Um, we need a couple of fluid tank, liquid fuel stuff, and we need a guidance computer, and we we need some inventory. So let's just put this down. Let's start with the engines. Huh? So a nice symmetrical design for this one is two engines on either side. And then we can put the fuel, liquid fuel tanks here, here, and on top, which we can't reach from there. We can go up here. We can go up on the, on this, and put those down with the extended reach. You can reach that no problem whatsoever. So now, I want to put the guidance computer. Actually, I'll put the rocket, the chest down first. I don't know whether it makes a difference. I'll explain that in a minute, hopefully. So now we can simply, we don't need anything in that guidance computer, by the way. So the rocket assembly machine, let's scan this one. You see we've got plenty of everything, plenty of fuel. 100 Newton thrust, 0.18 meters per second. That's how we can build that. Now, I don't know whether that's going to be linked in. Oh yes, look, it's got, there's two links. So that's actually, they're both from the fueling stations. Ah. So let's shift right click this and you'll see the fuel is already loaded up. Ah good, the chest has actually come into its into its place, but you can't click on it. 
to normally you'd be able to click on this to open it up but it doesn't work it used to work in the previous version but this is an alpha version so it didn't work so what i tried to do was this here i have a, a, a rocket loader and the recipe for rocket loaders let's look at recipe for the rocket loaders there's different types of loaders a rocket unloader and a rocket loader so basically it's an input hatch with a tracking circuit it gives you a, a rocket loader and then it has this interface which I don't fully understand I will be honest with you I think some of it's to do with redstone signals let's just get out of this back here bit redstone I just put some redstone down somewhere it doesn't really matter where See, it doesn't look as though it's linking into the actually put the second block down and then what you can do with this as I think you can allow redstone loading control disabled so the state is normal so the state is normal so what I've got in here is also I've got some stuff to put into that so let's go to the back here see I've got some laboratory blocks somewhere yes and I can put those into here like this and those will slowly get taken out of here and fed in into this loading bay, this rocket loader here. So what you can then do is you can take your linker. And what I'm curious about is whether actually that's going to affect these. So that's I think is the north side. Let's just click all of them, see if we should forget. Allow south redstone output. You know, I don't think this works properly either. So we'll set those like that. I think it's supposed to tell you it's got stuff to look, to put into the rocket. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to now put this into the rocket. And so I need a linker. I'll put it in here, and I? Coordinates on that linker. So I want to do a shift right click this onto here, and then shift right click that onto the rocket assembly machine. That's the fueling station that's the rocket assembly machine like that and the items in here should disappear they've gone out and they should be in this chest now I say should be last time I did this I put the I put the guidance computer below the rocket and um, the chest and they went into the <laughs> they went into the guidance computer this time they haven't done so I suspect they're in this chest in that case which you can't see it's there it tells you it's there but you should be able to click on it it should open and you should get a view and I don't Hopefully, ah, uh, yes, we've got some more Futura blocks in here. Let's put those into that one as well. They're going in through there. They'll go straight out and go into the rocket. So now I think this rocket's actually ready to launch. We'll just let it finish loading. Now this is where I'd expect to see a redstone signal. We don't seem to see one. I don't know which side is which. If I'm looking at the map here, that would be the north side. And I would expect to see some redstone out, but I've I had a problem with this as well last time, but for example in this one here you can do the same thing, I think. But this doesn't doesn't seem to work very well either. So if you actually put something into this, like redstone, you'd expect it to light up on one of these faces. So that's the south and that was the east and it doesn't seem to work whichever way you do it that was the east and north it does when you're actually unloading it it's very strange I don't ask me what's going on there but maybe I'm just messing up so now this is full and I guess this is also emptied yes good so let's launch this rocket and is it going to launch no it's not going to launch oh I don't want to launch it yet actually because it's got nowhere to go to. I need to specify where I want it to go to. And in this, here I've got a linker that's linked to these coordinates on dimension 3. So this is a docking pad. So what we do now is we break this away. I just don't know where I've got to put it in, actually to put the docking pad in. But let's just get another one out of the, out of the bag here. Because I made a few of those. So hopefully we'll be able to create the other one so we can then put this into here like that 
and then put into that the link here with those coordinates. Now normally I'd go and trundle off to do do that. We'll do that in a minute, in fact. We'll have to. So let's put these back here. Now we need to make sure that this rocket launch monitoring station is actually linked. So I'm going to link that again. Oh, by the way, if you do this, so like this, now shift right click that, it's, tell, it's giving you coordinates. If that, if you made a mistake and you don't want, you want to get rid of that, and you want on coordinates and set, just shift right click it on the ground, or any block that's not related. So now it's got a coordinates unset. So let's link that to this. Already linked. It says it's already linked, and this is what's. Oh, there we go. It does actually work. So. I'm and that's going to go to the to the moon. So let's take our own rocket ship here. Let's check that's actually filled up. Not quite. So actually, I would like to unlink this link here from this this fuel rocket here. Let's unlink that one and put that onto the rocket assembly machine here. And that should link into this. But if it's not doing, sometimes it doesn't. Let's shift right click. You see, it's not done it. And then as guidance computer, I've got a ID chip, good planet ID chip. Let's try that again. So I'm going to shift right click this, and I'm going to link it to the rocket like that. Now the lines appeared here, as you can see. In fact, I know that the mouse pointer doesn't show, but it's just going to the middle of that. So this will now be loaded up with fuel. So let's have a look at that. Good. Now we've got our space suit on and we've all got plenty of oxygen and plenty of hydrogen. So now let's get into this. Now we've got to set the destination. So you can program a key and I program the plus key. So let's just select this um, some uh, destination. Select Luna. Select it. So now destination is Luna. So we can now press space and we'll off off we go to the moon. So when I was doing this first time, I got rockets coming back that were actually landing in the middle of space, <laughs> about 100 blocks up or something like that. So hopefully that's been fixed in this version. But you never, you never can be sure. So I press space to go down again. And as you can see, we're coming down to the moon. And in fact, I actually put a marker here. And it's on. So, and you'll actually see that you always land in the same spot. So wherever it is, let's edit that one. So that's 15, 38, 20, 24, and 84. So we're actually doing that one, close that. And you always land in the same spot, it doesn't matter what you do. It, well, it's the same spot, oh, there's the other rocket coming in, like that. So now here, I have another linker in here, I hope. But I should have done this first of all, but I've got another linker in here. Oh, that's a rocket. I just have to break this block away to, to look at that one. And that's set to the Earth, and that's the same place. If you look at the coordinates here, it was the same place as the one... Ah, oh, 68, that might explain it. As so that's 1538 and the other one was 20, 24 I think so it's 16 blocks away no 8 blocks away 8 blocks away which is about right isn't it it's about the size of the launch pad so that's where that's going to go back to so what we then can do is we can take stuff out of it and this is supposed to be a rocket unloader and as you see it's got the stuff that I put in laboratory blocks I didn't actually reckon I'd got as many as that in the way. <laughs> so obviously done its trick. It has unloaded the rocket. So now we can put down a rocket loader. Let's put down a rocket loader on this side over here. And put something else in it and send it back with that one. Now this is where I was having trouble with it last time. So for example, in the back here I've got a rocket loader. Like that. And I've got it doesn't need power. So just I could put it down anywhere. So I'm going to put it down here like this. Then, but we do need to link it. So we link that to the... I think we link it to the docking pad. 
Yeah, like this. And it's linked successfully. And by the way, you'll notice on the moon, you've got lots of uh, beehives, <laughs> wintry beehives. Don't ask me why. It's one of those things. Like that. Now this rocket should also be loaded up. Let's double check that. I'm not sure it is loaded up. Let's just, just right click it. Yes, it's loaded up. Because this this rocket loader here, it, the fueling station is linked to that pad. And so should be this monitoring station, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So let's just check it. Let's just right click that. Link successfully. So we should be able to take off this time. So now let's just put this block back here. I hope. So now we can put something into this thing. Let's go and put something in it. What are we going to put in it? Let's put in this future. Let's put in a bucket. I'm sure enough it's gone into that. Hopefully it's not come out of here yet. No good. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. I think that was because it was all set up wrong. It's a bit dark, I know. Let's just get my um ring of night vision out put that into my hand a second and then we can lighten things up a bit so we can see what we're doing so that's ready to go back again so let's see if we can launch it now this is where i was having problems just so i couldn't launch anything like that <laughs> go and then i went away and i came back again and it launched so let's just uh, try linking that instead of linking that to there let's link that to the rocket just right click here already linked so it is linked so I don't know why it won't go let's turn control normal disabled inverted in fact we actually want the redstone control disabled because we've got the fuel launcher beside it which is going to send out a redstone signal and it still won't launch so that was so that was the problem I had last time as well it doesn't work quite as well as it should do and I don't know why anyway I set up here a, a waystone and I put on it so we've got rocket we've got moon base here which will take us straight back to the moon base we can go straight back to the overworld it's got no cost in this one which is also a bit strange so let's go back to the moon base here again I don't know why that's not filling up, uh, fuel going off. So let's tell you what, let's fill up our rocket here with some fuel. I think we're too far away from the other one. No, I've got plenty of fuel somewhere, probably in the tank here, in the bag. Have I done with it? Am I being blind? Should be in there. Hmm. Maybe it's in a different compartment. Oh yes. I don't know why it's in there to be honest with you. Right. So let's just right click this. That's now empty. Take this one out of here for that mud and put those two put those two back into this bag here. In fact it might be worth worth filling this one's empty, let's go and fill this one up. Oh let's put the and let's put down this chunk loader here. So I think that covers this area. I can't see to be honest with you. Oh yeah, it does. So all of this area is, is chunk loaded. So let's go back. Let's go back now. Actually, what I would like to do is go to the space station, but that might be diff it might be tricky to do that. So let's open up the use the GUI again, change this, select the destination to being Earth, select and off we go. It's a bit night time at the moment too. Hmm. 
<laughs> so that's an interesting picture. I'm not quite sure why I'm seeing that. So that's the. We should be coming down in a second like that. Now this thing should also load up, shouldn't it? The fuel. I don't think the fuel was actually locked, linked to the right place, so just make sure we do it again. In fact, it didn't use actually that much fuel, did it? What did I just do wrong then? Fueling session. I think successfully good. Got one of these guys. They're driving me crazy because they keep planting flowers. I don't want them to plant. I don't want them to plant flowers here. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to get rid of them actually. To be honest with you, <laughs> because this was um, a dread lamp which is supposed to get rid of prevent uh, passive mob spawning, but they're obviously not. They don't obey the rules. So now I want to get the station ID chip out of here. I think I might have it with me actually. Let's have a look. Because it's this one. Station ID is chip one. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't seem to have it with me. I might have put it somewhere else. Let's get rid of this stuff while I'm here. I think I put it into the system in fact. Let's have a look. I'm a bit far away but chip. Planet ID chip station. Nope, I don't have that there. It must be about somewhere. I must be just not seeing it. So I know I did something with it between episodes and I have completely forgotten what I did with it. Either I'm not seeing it or it's not there. One of the, anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll take it with us. Oh, of course. Actually, they wouldn't stack for some reason. I don't ask me why they don't stack. But they refuse to stack and I think that's why I couldn't see it because I'm playing blind. So now let's have a look at this. Let's get this guy let's get this one out of here and put the other one back in it. Alright. But let's put this the one we're actually using in the bag here. So what I want to do is also to build an orbital laser built biome scanner. Now what do we need for a biome scanner? A biome scanner which we've got, an advanced motor or a motor of some description which we've both got. We also need uh, ten blocks of Iron. Let's go and get those. Fat iron probably just getting over here, isn't it? Is it ten bucks? I need to check that in a second. Oh no, twenty-one blocks of iron and one block of redstone. The yeah, air we can. We can live with, I think. Eighteen, twenty-one. Good. It's a lot of iron, isn't it? So let's go back to the rocket and get into it and trundle off to the space station. Of course, going to make sure you got your art. Your spacesuit. I'm well, I've left the spacesuit and I haven't taken it off this time. I did in my last episode. <laughs> I went up without the right one. Oh, that was. Uh, didn't die. Just have to put it on quickly and that's it. But of course, I've got the waystone. I could just simply click the waystone and go back. That would have been easy too. 
let's descend onto the space station. But it looks like we've still got the bar going out here. And that one too, that's not right at all. So anyway, the ones I should go to replace are these two here. And it's actually very obvious. If I, I did actually know about this. I should, don't ask me why I forgot it. See, it's got a docking station port here. Station, station docking port. First in target ID, and I should have realised when I saw that. But I actually completely forgot about it. So what we're going to do now? So we're going to put that away and get out of that the, out of the back a biome. No, I want the da, 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 docking port. Okay, let's put that one into here. Let me give it a name. So we'll say this one is um, land pad one. Let's call it pad. Okay, and we don't need to put in the um, uh, the linker there because we don't need it for that. So let's fill this in. Let's go up onto the roof and do the one on the roof as well. We'll call this one roof. So now we should be able to see those two. But in the process of doing that, let's put in the biome scanner. I'm going to put the balance color. It needs to be around about here, I think. Um, tell you what, we'll get the thing out of the bag, the hollow projector, and we can put it down and see how big it is. What I really want is a block on top of this one here, don't I? Do what I'll do, I'll just go out here, put a block on top of that. So I'm going to put it on this corner over here, I can. I think it needs visibility down to earth. A block of redstone. Let's just scroll that. So that's how it works. So it's a block of redstone. And then iron. And I think that will actually do. I guess let's get this the, the gradients out of the book. I need that, don't I? Let me go back. Blocks of iron. So we need quite a few blocks of iron. I don't exactly know how many. 21, but I don't exactly know. Oops, what did I just do? I just clicked the wrong thing, didn't I? Uh, can I click it back onto this block? Probably not. I have to remove this. That was a mistake. At least it uh, didn't disappear. Let's put it down there. Let's try that again. Oh yes, you see it's cutting us to a platform like this. Which should presumably be the 21 blocks. Motor. I don't know what type of motor, if it makes any difference whatsoever. So we'll use the, um, we'll use the cheap motor to start with. Well, I know we'll use the elite motor, see if it makes any difference. We need the biome scanner. Now the biome scanner, the recipe for that was actually slightly complicated. I didn't show it to you. Let's have a look at the recipe for this one. It was, everything's fairly straightforward except for the biome changer. Now the biome changer you can send up into a satellite and change the biomes. Quite neat really. So that was made with two copper rods, one titanium rod, two silicon wafers, and an advanced circuit, and the precision assembler. Actually, wasn't too difficult to do. So let's put that down there. And is that complete? No, nope, it's missing something. That's a bit weird. 
Oh, maybe it's this block that's in the way. Indeed it is. So now you can see it's got this pointy bit that goes down to the ground there. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm jumping all over it. Let's just pick up this glass. Right, now. Then we can actually see. So we actually got underneath we've got ocean plains, all these different all these different biomes. So if we actually go to another planet, we'll get a different set of biomes. Doesn't help you doesn't help you do anything with them, but it just tells you what there are, is there. So you can use that. Let's go off to a different planet now. Actually I've got some dilithium with me. Oh, let's put this in. Ooh. Let's put that into here. So it's actually in my bag. I think this one. I might have moved it. Let's fill this up with some lithium. Well, it didn't take all of it. it took six. It took. Um, it took thirty-two and left the rest, didn't it? I think I saw that correctly. There's something we haven't done as well. We got breathable air in here. Yes, good. So, so now let's just select. See, it says we've got one thousand fuel, but nowhere to go. So let's select a planet. Planet list. Well, this one that's quite near to it. Sol 15. Let's use that one. Select. Okay, enough. It's 88, so it's not too far away. It doesn't matter that much. Hello, Slam Island. You're still there. Good. <laughs> but this time we'll actually go down to the planet. We've got a satellite D chip with us, and I think you just have to go with that one. Here we are. So we can now come along here and use the biome scanner to see what we've got down there. So it's just moon, basically nothing else. Just moon. It's just a moon biome. Destination is Sol 15. So let's go. How much fuel have we got in this, by the way? Oh, you know, I don't know. Probably plenty anyway. <laughs> I can tell you that of another thing. How do I know there's plenty? Because we can easily, because we're already in space, so we just have to go down after that. I do have to admit, it does look a bit weird going, going at an angle. The rockets disappeared again. Then. <laughs> the rocket has gone somewhere. The wire is quite high. F oh, it's back again now. Look. So it's just like the Earth's moon. It changes its destination. So let's have a look how much fuel have we got into this thing. So should right click it. We haven't got much fuel in it now. So we actually do need to fill it up with fuel. That one's empty. Hopefully, it did actually bring a second one with me. I think we have got a second one. Rocket fuel 8,000, good. We'll fill it up. I don't actually know whether I need to use all of the fuel. It takes all the fuel. I don't know whether we need to do it. So obviously it's moon. Oh, gravity's a bit higher here than it is on. Oh, look at this. <laughs> we have uh, multiple set of planets. I don't think we get any mobs on the moon, but you should get some decent. Mining stuff we got here. It's a bit dark, isn't it? And I would like to put this, but it'd be nice if this actually had. Yeah, I didn't have to hold it in my hand all the time. So we got here some copper and some books like that. And I'm just hoping that's not because of me. It could well be because of me. And then we got some more copper and, and then some moon stuff over there. Oh, it's just basically 
the earth like isn't it mm, it's gone off let's get out of here so I don't think that was the Rubio was there when I came here and I don't think that was here either when I actually came down I think that's my perk that's doing that so let's go back to the rocket I've got to be able to find it now. I didn't put a marker down, <laughs> but there it is. In fact, it will be in the same. I think it's in the same position. Let's have a look. Actually, it's not in this case. Let's get onto it. Let's put a marker down here and just say, ah, okay. So minus three oh seven two minus three oh seven two. And I suspect that's going to be there in, in all cases. So let's just say we come back again here. If we ever come back in, which we're not going to, we'd, it would be there. Okay, let's go back to the space station. Perhaps I'll well turn off the marker while I'm thinking about it. Oh, didn't mean to remove it. I meant to turn it off, but it's my other way. I should have been able to select the destination, shouldn't I? And I forgot to check. I'm going to check from here, select destination. Oh yes, now you can. You can select the roof as the destination. I think it's too late for that now, but we'll see. Yes. And the fuel's all been used up. I can't go on another another trip, but that did work. Thank you very much for that tip, Bob. The big bat that helped a lot. Right, let's go in. Let's go back to Earth. If I can actually manage to select Earth this time, planet list. Okay. So the destination is Earth. Let's walk away. Of course, I could go to other solar systems. Um, there are a few on the map. Just going to have a look. So what actually where the where the different ones are. So if you go up here, you start to get the other solar systems. It's, a, it's unfortunate there are a few. I think there's more than there's four. So that's Wolf, for example. There's actually five of these. That's Magnus Vulpes. That's Sol. That's our and one Epsilon Era and Proxima Centaurus so let's go back out of here and of course I didn't show you that because you can select those as well if you go back up you select this one it's got seven planets like that I'll double click it I think and then it's got different the planets some look a bit earth like like this one Sol 40 which is at 46 with one moon, 48 no moons, salt 49 with three, and then they've got other ones, but it doesn't tell you very much about them at the moment. But anyway, we're back on, we're just back above Earth now. So let's take our rocket back. Ah, I think we have enough fuel. A bit low. We'll just try it. Because you've only got to get off the spaceship basically, and that's it. It's also funny seeing clouds in the sky. Actually, the height, if you look at the height on the right hand side here, it goes up to 1024 and then it changes views. And it's still and it's still night time. Oh yes. This was the location of that other place. I think we put this into the let me just remove this. Actually, I've got a load of junk on that. Where did I get that from? Got some prosperity ore there. Must have been from doing the that bit of mining. 
and some moon turf. Doesn't I don't think it has any, any uses whatsoever except for to make some covers and as a, or as a building material. And even then it's fairly limited, so let's open up this bag here and put that into that. I didn't check up the top, but they won't have been used very much for that little for that little journey. Just don't what do I want to do in here? Oh yes. I wanted to show you show you this didn't I? So the, this one's got uncoordinate sunset. So you shift right click this one onto this docking pad here and that's where the and then it'll tell you with the dimension on here. So it's dimension zero. X is fifteen thirty eight, Y is sixty eight, and Z is two thirty-two. And what you'd normally do is you then go and put that you do that before you set off with your rocket. We'll go to we'll go to the moon base now. And you'd put that into this one here. So look at that again. So that's the same I think that's exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah. Fifteen thirty eight sixty eight two thirty two dimension zero so that's what I would have done normally and of course you did then take this one over here and you'd actually link put this one back on here you shift right click that on there and that will then be dimension three if we go and check the, the one at the base we should find out that's the same one so let's put this down here let's see if we can actually launch this thing again so it won't launch and I'm a bit puzzled as to why it won't launch. Do what we can try. Um, let's. I don't want to break it up. That's not the point to do. Let's take that one out of there. So that's dimension zero. So that's. I see they're identical. Could have done it that way, couldn't I? So let's see if it'll launch now. I think it is, we'll just double check it is linked in. You can see the lines going from that one, that one's going to that one cor correctly. The fueling station is also going there and this input hatch. But the monitoring station itself isn't. Let me just, since we don't need that one anymore, let's just shift right click that one and then link this to that rocket. So it says it's already linked. Link successfully. This must be the first machine to link. Oh. Okay, link to that one. Link successfully. I launch. And it won't go. <laughs> I'd ask me what goes on there. I really don't understand that. I just think it's it's still alpha. It's still an alpha mod, so it's it's likely to be broken for quite a bit of time. Yeah. Let's do it this way. Where's the the book on down here but this but it was updated fairly recently so hopefully that'll let's just see if we can no it doesn't want it will not go whatever's wrong with it it will not go okay that's it for this episode I'm not exactly I just keep saying this I'm not sure where to go with this pack at all I think it's probably time to call it a day I'll probably make one more episode and then we'll call it a day so until next time bye for now <laughs>